This is Brayden's summer vacation. He loves it here. Like many kids, Brayden loves summer camp. But this isn't just any camp. There isn't much out there for kids with physical disabilities. And they're just as excited about activity as anybody else. And so we want to fill that void. Hayden, will you uh, hit again for us? He needs to use one hand to help hold himself up in his wheelchair. Okay. Biggest thing that I want to change is the perception that kids with disabilities can't do the things that other kids are doing. You to shoot the laser rifle outside today? It's easy to see why the camp is called No Limits. I want to help them push their limits and break through. One, two, three. They're more excited about physical activity than I ever have been in my life. I'm interested in doing what's not being done. Like playing hockey, roller skiing, and cycling. They're excited to see all the different equipment we have for them. And the kids get a chance to learn about it, to try it. They get to choose, they get to pick. And a lot of them are getting to do things that they might have never known that they love. Good job. When he came here, he was a very shy, quiet, introverted person. He is not that way anymore. He realized that he could do something. It's really kind of been an eye-opener for me that these kids, they just want to be kids the same way I was a kid and just go out and play. My dad oh, nailed it. it. UW-Madison students help out in the camp as part of a kinesiology class. This is, you know, a really unique opportunity, not for only the kids, but for us. Most of the students here are going to go into either a medical or a therapy type of field. Push. We train new professionals who are going to be new physical education teachers, new doctors, new PTs, new OTs. It was a little overwhelming because I haven't really dealt with people with different conditions. This lab opportunity allows them that experience and that interaction. That slight forward momentum helps balance mm -hmm. you when you're making the transition. If I'm going for physical therapy, like I'm going to need to know how to tailor any kind of physical activity to anyone. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot of me kind of facilitating and that's not anything like what it's been. They come in, they're ready to go. If they have the right attitude, their disability isn't going to get in the way of any goals that we set. Right about there. But developing the right attitude can be the biggest hurdle. I've had a lot of people think that I'm not as smart as them or as capable of doing things just because I'm short. That's what they hear. I expect not to be able to walk like anybody else. Expect to not be able to maybe get a job or get into sports like other people do. He felt like he was too slow. He was too big. He has experienced being shunned from groups of kids. He has no confidence. That nearly stopped Braden from even giving camp a try. Oh, he was terrified. His anxiety level was through the roof. We walked in the door together, tears streaming down his face, don't leave me here, don't leave me here. Oh, I guess I was just worried about embarrassing myself or, I don't know, or other people just not liking me or something. Camp director Tim Gattenby believes if he can just change minds, everything else will follow. We leave the perceptions of limitations behind. He's going to figure out some way for you to do what everybody else is doing. Take your toe on this foot. I absolutely did not think I could ride a bike at all. I didn't think it was going to happen. Put some pedal pressure on. No brakes. Pedal pressure. Here, they were saying, like, you can ride a bike. And then I actually rode a bike. Dad! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Ready to break? Step down. Yeah. It's just, just awesome, you know? The dismount was perfect. Yeah, that looks great! Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this means she'll be able to go for a bike ride by herself. It's a simple thing, but, you know, it's great. Braden learned to ride in his first year of camp. And he took off and he just sobbed because he was so happy. And um, that changed him. And I'm grateful for that, that he found a piece of himself that's positive, not what's wrong with you or what you can't do. Now Braden's a mentor to other campers. That mentorship is very powerful. A child who has a disability is gonna look up to another child and understand, wow, you can do that, so can I. He's wanted and he's needed here to 
helped him out. And for the first time, Braden felt like he fit in. And he was cool. So dead, dead center. You want your kid to be able to do what other kids are doing, and you don't give up. You don't let your expectations down on what they can be. It's just really cool to see how you can really like get someone's full potential out of them. It changes like my perception and stigma, and just there's nothing that these kids can't do. Let's line it up. Anywhere you look, you know, there's a kid that's doing something that he wasn't able to do last week. Nailed it. Don't let being embarrassed hold you back from doing things that you could do. All the kids know that they're physically or cognitively different in a little way, but just to know in the back of their mind that, you know, they can stick with something and make it happen. And then ultimately, we want them to have that lead to lifelong healthy choices. When we hit a spot where we're angry or we're frustrated, we're having a bad day, this is a, a point of reference for us to say, remember, that seemed like a huge mountain and you were never going to accomplish it. You were never going to ride that bike. You were never going to make friends. Nobody was going to like you. And what happened? You know, you tried a little bit and you kind of got the world back. And I know he is going to pull on the things that he's learned here forever. <laughs>